everybody. My name is Love, and I'm one of Janine's bridesmaids. And don't worry, magtatagal po ako. Um, bago natin kailanganin ng tissue, baka may mag nosebleed. Um, pero pagpasensya nyo na lang din po kung bigla akong mag-i-English kasi wala kami makausap sa Texas ng Tagalog, so I'm not practiced anymore. Um, anyway, pa-usap po yung Tagalog po, so going back. Um, Janine is actually, I don't want to look at you because I'm going to cry. So I'm going to look at maybe um, a celebrity, my husband. No, I'm not. I'm not there. Hi, baby. Um, so Janine is uh, my oldest friend. I met her when I was six, and she was five. She's the youngest in our group, and I don't know how we got her into our class, because nowadays you can't go to first grade if you're five. Um, it was enrollment day, grade one, at Dominican College, and actually, she was my friend before school ever started. And so from that day on, and 10 years on, at Deacon, we were friends, and up until now, and I'm not gonna declare our age, but we look like we're still 16. So we're gonna say 11 years, plus 10 or more. Um, and it's really, really easy to talk about somebody like her because she's an amazing friend. Um, I'm sure most of you probably know these things about her, for those of you who are team bride, for, but for those of you who are from the groom side, I'd like to share a few quirks about my dear friend. Brace yourself, Jerusha. Um, Janine is isa sa mga pinaka mahinhin kong kaibigan. And she's like, no, I'm not. And because by mahinhin, I mean pinaka mabagan. <laughs> Kahit siya ang maunang kumain, siya pa yung inaantay namin matapos. Inaasag ko namin siya dati na payat siya kasi dahil na-digest na yung sinubo niya, hindi pa nasusunan. <laughs> Tapos, isa pa rin po siya sa pinahambagan ko, Milos. Um, actually, yung ano po, um, pag nagkikita kami, alas tres. Alas tres, naliligo pa lang siya. Tetexan namin siya. Dati, Luda yung tawag namin. Now we're grown, we're called Jerusha, where are you? At papunta na ako, papunta means, papunta ng CR. Um, but actually, fun fact, I, yung coordinators for the wedding, they told her the wedding was yesterday, kaya she was on time today. Um, she is also very, very competitive, as shared by Danielle. Um, to the point where um, one time our teacher, fourth year high school, threatened to fail us. Baksa kami lahat, zero on a quiz. And uh, she was like, yeah, that's fine. At least lahat tayo bagsak. Patas at play. Our salutatorian, ladies and gentlemen, please, round of applause. Very, very smart. Um, but these things are just a small part of the beautiful woman that my dearest friend is. She is our source of joy. And if you know what joy is, it's not feeding. It's not momentary. Joy comes from the stomach, from the heart, and this thing called the... What, lymphatic system in your brain? <laughs> and so it's really there, stationary. Habang nasa high school kami, hindi niya pinakita or pinaramdam na may mga problema siya. In fact, her laugh is so contagious, it can fill the room. Her voice is so beautiful, um, it, she could have taken up that mic and not let go of it and do just a good job as the people up there. No offense to the people that we paid. Um, but, she was never afraid to try new things. Uh, for somebody so smart, she was really good at sports. Patintero, kickball, <laughs> my girls know it. Um, she was also really good at arts, competitive pastel, any type of drawing class we had, she was really good at it. Um, pageants, have you guys seen her walk? It's practiced. She's won them. And she's taught little kids. Do you know how scary little kids are, especially nowadays? Oh my god, this woman was like one of the most loved teachers at Savior, so I hope what um, And even taking a leap of faith, she changed careers. Moved from being a teacher to an amazing flight attendant, right? Um, so she's not really afraid. But one of the best part of being her friend is that she was, and true to, to this day, she remains to be our glue. Um, she keeps us together, me and the girls. Kung hindi dahil sa kanya, siguro hindi kami magkikita kita na ganun kadalas after high school. Because after being together for 10 years, we actually all went to different types of, we have an attorney, we have a doctor, we have a head of nursing, we had a 
We have somebody from corporate. We have somebody in Australia. We're all everywhere, but she always manages to bring us together every single time, especially when it matters. Um, she values us so much. She. Uh, some of my favorite memories are from hanging out cooking these green hills. Some of the na dinidip namin ang French fries sa ice cream. Um, pero sa bahay nila kung saan pinaghahanda kami ni Tita Jeannie, eh ni Mamu. Um, ang amin snacks ay sponsored ng Sari Sari store nila. So free for high schoolers, that's big. The other spot was sa bahay ng kaibigan namin, si Sheila. Shout out, newly married as well. Um, but fun fact, that's actually where we first met Monch, including me. But that's irrelevant because it's actually Janine who first met Monch there. Basa and Day 2007. Because we thought it would be fun to get wet by street people. Imagine, high school. Um, anyway, Monchito is, uh, I just got, I didn't know his name was Monchito, by the way. I just like adding I-T-O to any Filipino name. Um, and so Janine was like, how do you know his real name? He's like, I have no idea. Um, anyway, the thing about Janine is that she always shows up. Kahit para sa isang six-year-old na ako, na walang kakilala at that time, or nung senior prize nila ako sa USD for my 18th birthday, or nung nagpakita siya sa akin sa London just for one night, or nung nakipagpalitan siya ng flights because it wasn't her regular route, just so she could show up at my wedding in California. That's the thing. She always shows up. And she does this for me. She does this for all her friends, for her family, and especially for Monch. I can't tell you much about Monch, except that it takes a very special person to love and care for a very unique and amazing person like her. I'm gonna rhyme. Cat, scat, okay. Okay. This wedding has been a long time coming. And dito tayo had to celebrate the love and journey that you both have shared for all these years, 12 years. And to continue the tradition of giving unsolicited, unsolicited advice. Uh, I know I've only been married two years to that amazing gentle giant over there in pink. Yes po yung matangkad na guapo ay ang asawa. Hindi po siya si Ding Dong Dan. That's the other one in pink. Over there, very handsome, just probably even more. My gentle giant. Um, he's wearing a ring. He's mine. So is he. Apparently he's somebody else's. Um, but that's fine. I'm sure we can take up some other people. But Janine and Punch, marriage is not easy. But it really can be. Lalo na pag tatlong beses mo nang inuulit sa kanya kung anong kailangan gawin. Tapos sabihin niya, ay hindi ko narinig. So you never said that to me. Or tulad ng asawa ko, na kailangan niyang hagilapin ng buong bahay para sa mga tasa ng kape na kung saan-saan ko iniiwan. That's probably the hardest part. At nakakaasar, right? People also say, don't go to bed angry. It's okay, just go to bed. Minsan mas madali pag the next day na kayo nag-usap. Uh, itulog niyo na muna. But what makes it easy is choosing each other every morning and every night no matter how the day was. Mas madali pag tinanggap mo na kailangan mo ulitin yung sarili mo dahil ipipick up naman niya kung hilikwitan ka naman niya ng mga tasa mo. It's easier when you choose to show up for each other through the good, the bad, and especially the ugly. And you guys are very practiced in that. I love you both, but especially you. I know your audience at it, but you will always be my little baby Capricorn sister and probably of the rest of the group. And I can't watch, I can't wait to watch you navigate this next chapter of your lives. So everybody please raise a glass, raise whatever you have as a toast to this beautiful couple. It's been a privilege knowing you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Mr. Love Rye. Right before her, we or Mrs. I have